I'm Jennifer Campbell and I'm the Carer Services Development Officer with NHS Highland. My role involves ensuring that unpaid carers are at the focus of what we do within NHS Highland. I think in the first instance it was professionally I'd heard of Tide through connecting carers so I knew that they, they, they were there to support carers who were supporting people with dementia. I'm in that position myself, my dad has dementia. It was quite useful to, to look at it from a professional and a personal kind of point of view. I think it's been re really important for me to have these connections personally because um, sometimes it's really, really difficult to kind of unravel the professional and the personal side of, of, of caring. And um, as a professional, there's almost that bit about you think you know everything and you can do it yourself. But actually, Tide have actually been really, really um, supportive and reassuring to me. And when things have been difficult, there's been somebody there to to just pick up the phone and have a chat too. So some of the activities that I've been involved in have included the weekly um, coffee mornings. So just linking in and having a chat. And normally there's, you know, a few people there, not always the same people, but just be just really good to hear from other people what their personal circumstances are. I also um, got involved in a, um, a session called You Can't Pour From An Empty Cup, what was, which was around looking at um, how um, you support your own well-being. So that was a really, really good session and, and certainly has helped me to really just put things into context. For me, from, with my professional hat on, to be able to give knowledge and understanding around the, the carers' legislation, you know, I, I have a lot of understanding of that, and to be able to see what, what, what's out there and, and what, organisation, what other organisations are there to, to help carers was really beneficial. But also that, you know, that kind of um, ability to, you know, to, to, to hear what other people are saying. And sometimes if, if people are struggling, if, if, you know, if, if I'm able to just offer some advice, I, I feel that has been really, really valuable. From a work perspective, it's always really, really good to hear from other carers what's going on. So that's allowed me to develop the Highland Carers Strategy in a much more concise way. So really listening to what's going on and, and ensuring that's applied to what we're doing here in the Highlands. Another part of my, my role is that I'm a practice educator. So I have social work students that I work with. And once I had got to know um, about the, the, the role of, of TIDE, I then linked in um, my most re recent student to do some work with, um, with TIDE. And that has been really, really, really valuable, not only to, to her as a student, but also to particularly one family that she has been working with. And she was able then to link um, a carer in to the, the services of, of Tide. I think in the true sense of um, the, the carers legislation, which talks about collaboration, it's important that we work with as many people as possible. So developing knowledge and expertise, we don't all individually know everything. So linking in with others that have that expertise and in Tide's um, capacity, that specific link with dementia and carers is very, very important. I don't think that um, that all professionals know that they're out there. So I think you know the likes of me with that knowledge have that responsibility to share that information, which I have done, and, and you know ensured that certainly adult social care teams in Highland have an understanding that they're available, and also that um, that Ray, as the the link for for Scotland, will do training with um, Pacific teams and offer her advice and information. And I think we've had two or three adult social care teams that have linked in in that way. And and that has been really, really useful. I think that the one thing that they've given me is space, space to think about my caring role um, and space in a busy, busy world where um, I'm trying to juggle work and, and caring. So just taking that time out to, to actually listen and, and be heard. <laughs>